iOS 17.4 is officially out and it's available to the general public. So you can go over to your settings and update to the latest version of iOS. If you are an iPhone user in the European Union, then you'll be able to install and use third-party app stores and sideload applications on your iPhone. iOS 17.4 will allow third-party developers to offer alternative app marketplaces and app downloads to EU users from outside the iOS App Store. This will allow you to install apps and play games that aren't available in the App Store, such as Fortnite and similar. But keep in mind that this specific change is available to EU users only. So, if you are in the United States or other country outside the EU, this won't work for you. Another thing that Apple added are a couple of new emojis that you can send to your friends or family members. You will be able to send these chains, this mushroom, these two new reactions, the lime emoji, and this bird that looks pretty cool. So those are the new emojis that are available with iOS 17.4 the podcast's app is adding auto-generated audio transcripts that people can use to search for specific words or phrases. These audio transcripts will be available for English, French, German, and Spanish languages at the beginning, and you can search for a specific word or phrase in order to go to that specific point in a podcast episode. If you are an iPhone 15 user, you will get more battery-related information in the battery section of the settings, including the cycle count, the manufacture date, and when the battery was first used. This is a cool little option that will allow you to see the general battery state, and you can see whether the device has the original battery or not. So, iOS 17.4 has a lot more tiny features and improvements, so you can update your device today and enjoy all the new benefits. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon.